Montezuma County Search and Rescue, the all-volunteer backcountry emergency services arm of the Sheriff's Office, has been busy lately. I'm Matt, our Vice President, and I'd like to share a little bit of what we've been doing here in Montezuma County this summer. We had extended high flows on the upper Dolores River this year, and the county commissioners funded the outfitting of our raft for river rescues. Over the season, a few people found themselves stranded in the river or on the far shore. In one case, a couple of young fellows tried floating the river in inner tubes, which they lost. I swam across the river to their location, and our colleagues at Rico and Dolores Fire rode our raft down to their location. Fortunately, the kids were not injured, and we hope they enjoyed their ride in our raft. We also had a hiker lose his way after summiting Mount Hesperus, taking a minor fall and breaking his GPS unit. Several of us responded, and our first hasty team was able to locate the hiker in the forest at the base of the talus slope. Again, fortunately, he was not injured, and he did most things right, which helped us find him quickly. His personal locator beacon, or PLB, transmitted his location to the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center, which contacted our dispatch here in Cortez. Remember, don't rely on any single device. Carry a map and compass, as well as your GPS. We also had an 86-year-old gentleman with dementia, Mr. Raymond Brown, walk away from his home near County Roads 26 and T in the Dolores, Lebanon area. Many searchers from many agencies searched for him for several days. We'd especially like to thank our colleagues at K-9 Search and Rescue and Colorado's Southwest Incident Management Team, who moved their training exercise to facilitate our missing person search. It is still possible that Mr. Brown was able to hitch a ride out of the area, so if you encounter a man with Samir dementia who matches his description, please call Cortez Dispatch or the Sheriff's Office. The search is in limited continuous mode, which means that it is suspended unless further evidence becomes available. Developing our capabilities for wilderness search and rescues involving rock, snow, reservoirs, rivers, and floods is an ongoing process of training, practicing, and updating equipment. Earlier this summer, we staged a mock search with two girls lost and stranded on a rock. We lowered them down, carried one in the litter, and brought them to a helicopter landing zone. Flight for Life Colorado flew in from Durango. We landed Lifeguard 5 at a remote heli spot and then enjoyed training with the helicopter crew. Several of us earned our lift ticket from Flight for Life for helicopter access to remote areas. We had numerous trainings on the river, including the team raft, which we had on the river during the highest flow, as well as our personal kayaks and the team's new river rescue boards. The river is now too low to raft, but a couple of us still managed to scrape our way down in kayaks as recently as a week ago. There are still many obstacles, such as sweepers and strainers. We had a mock search and powerboat training on McPhee Reservoir, which is still almost full thanks to the great snow and runoff we had this year. About a dozen of us practiced operating our two boats, a V-hulled runabout and a pontoon boat outfitted with a hoist, and pulling people aboard. The river and the reservoir make Montezuma County an interesting and exciting place to be on search and rescue. As always, we've continued our training for high angle rescue, including rappelling and single rope ascent techniques. Several of our members attended parts of the Four Corners Search and Rescue Workshop hosted by our friends at K-9 Search and Rescue, where Erin worked with her search dog in training, and four of us attended the Air Force Rescue Coordination Center's Basic Inland SAR course. We also had a member complete Advanced Incident Command System training at the Colorado Wildland Fire and Incident Management Academy. We've been enjoying working with local fire departments, including on the river and working with Cortez Fire Protection District for the fireworks during Independence Day celebrations. One of our members is also on Lewis Areola Fire, and I've been enjoying training with the Dolores Fire and Rescue. We'd like to congratulate the graduates of the county's Interagency Departmental Fire Academy, as well as Dolores Fire, who just brought home a half dozen trophies from the Tri-State Firemen's Association Convention in New Mexico. Montezuma County Search and Rescue is an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization providing backcountry emergency services. We never charge for rescues, but we do run on donations. If you'd like to support the ongoing development of our capabilities, including training and equipment, please contact us. You can follow us on Facebook at Montezuma County Search and Rescue. Be safe and have fun out there.